video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. I'm sitting here about to do some skincare before I get into bed, but I just wanted to pick up the camera so I can start a new vlog for y'all. I don't normally do all this on a regular basis, but I need to do my brows and I need to do my upper lip and exfoliate a little bit. That's why I broke out my steamer. But y'all, what is going on with all this? I'm not even surprised, all this P. Diddy and it's so much foolishness. I'm not surprised at all. Like, I feel like everyone saw this coming from a mile away. It was just a matter of time. Hollywood and the music industry, it's just really disgusting, the kind of stuff that they partake in. And I know that he is not, it's not no alleged. He did all the stuff. I believe it a thousand percent. It's too many factors that add up for me personally. So I don't need no alleged. Like, I know he did it. We all know he did it. <laughs> like now all this stuff is coming out about Carisha and I'm like why is anybody surprised about her in particular all of her music was consistently about money money men with money getting men with money and you know what I mean so there's no surprise there for me personally but like I said it's all just really really unfortunate that this stuff was going on and then I watched the um the all quiet on set documentary series about all the stuff that was going on with the kids on Nickelodeon. Not surprised about that either because as a kid, I never got into Victorious or iCarly. I distinctively remember it being very weird that they were doing all of that slime and the feet stuff. Like to me as a kid, it was just never funny. So I never kept up with those kind of series. The only series that I used to watch back in the day was like the Amanda Bynes show. And even then I still thought that it was disgusting. Like I'm not, I'm not one for spit, slime, puke, plastic stuff. So I just always thought it was disgusting. I hope that now that all this stuff is coming out, they can get justice for the wrong that was done to them. Quite honestly, I'm looking at the parents like, what were y'all doing? Like, <laughs> what were y'all doing? It's to me, it's always the parents. The minute I see something fishy, I'm pulling you out. You know what I'm saying? Like you can resent me all you want to, but at least you're gonna know that I did all I could as a parent to protect you. So that's always my first side eye. Like I'm always looking at the parents, like was the money really worth it? <laughs> go food on the table and I know I'm not gonna go back in there to go get it because <laughs> I'm parked all the way over here I'm not gonna walk back in there to get it so it is what it is but the food was good I had the shrimp and grits and I got an order of sausage and it came with like honey and a biscuit it was pretty good not the best 
shrimp and grits that I've ever had, but it was tasty, it was satisfying. So I would definitely recommend going. But it was so nice catching up. We were in there, what time is it? Is this the right time? Is that the right time? We were in there for almost three hours? Y'all, we were in there for almost three hours talking. That's how much we had to catch up on. That's crazy. That is crazy. so glad i found this farmer's market y'all all of this little stuff that i got seven dollars i picked up a bunch of bananas an apple some kiwi green onion and a cantaloupe i didn't want to do too much because this is my first time coming here i'm going out of town so i really didn't need a lot of produce so i didn't want to do the most but baby when i come back i am coming over here to shop for produce as a better selection they had big boxes of strawberries for three dollars three dollars for fresher produce bigger produce better produce like y'all this is my new spot and then they had a whole garden section they had a section for your herbs and all of that y'all i love it like I just love it. It gives me so much life. Like the gardening, the fresh herbs, planting your own vegetables. Like that just gets me so excited. And they had like a huge variety to choose from. So I am a happy camper. I have some fresh fruit for the next couple of days. And I have a new spot to come to. So I'm so excited about that. But I'm about to head home because I need to get a few things done and I wanna clean out my closet today. So my order from Fashion Nova and then my other order from Shein came in. I want to show y'all the pieces real quick, y'all. Sunglasses, I think these are cute. What do y'all think? It's giving Lorve. <laughs> it's giving Lorve. It's cute. Then I saw these pair. I thought these were really cute too. Just like a simple aviator shade. The only thing I don't like about these is that the ends are a little sharp. So you definitely have to be careful putting these on because if you poke your eye, I don't know if you can save it because the ends of that is very sharp. And then I, okay, so. Y'all were asking me <laughs> to give y'all an update on the sneakers from the last video. So I actually like the black, white, and gray sneakers on. They look a lot better on. The all black ones, not a fan of them, but they're very, like all of the shoes are very comfortable actually. So I'm just gonna wear those when I work out. So those are just gonna be my workout sneakers, go to the grocery store sneakers, like not trying to be seen because they are very comfortable. But I did order, another pair of sneakers i actually broke these in yesterday they are a little i could have sized down like a half size because they are a little big but these are actually really really cute on y'all i know they look crazy but they're actually really really cute on so i will link i linked the other pair in the last video so i'll link these down below and i'll link the sunglasses as well and I like the color on those too. And then from Fashion Nova, I picked up a, I thought this was so cute. I love the color. That's why I picked it up for like spring and summer. It says, apparently I have an attitude. If you know me, you should know I'm not a morning person. I'm thankful to be up. I'm grateful, but I'm not one of those people that 
walks around the house talking a whole lot in the morning like I need a few hours to get myself together. So this is definitely spot one, but I really just picked it up because I thought the lavender color would be really cute for spring and summer. And then I picked up a pair of black yoga pants, really nothing to see. And then I picked up this two piece set. And I did already open this stuff up and try it on, but I just wanted to show y'all because I thought it was really cute. Now this two piece set is so freaking cute on y'all it's a button up let me see if i can get it together it's a button up top and matching pants and i'm gonna order this and the three other colors it comes in it comes in cream black and olive i'm gonna order all of the colors but i do need to get the pants altered because they're very long so it's just a button up top it's a mauve y'all can i'll put a picture up because y'all cannot see y'all really nice material feels so good on my body it's one of those pieces that you will wear like to brunch to lunch with the girls you could wear it to church you could wear it so many different places and the pants are elastic very comfortable very easy to put on but i do need to get them altered because they're too long on me and i don't know what is going on with fashion nova because it seems like every single pair of bottoms i get from them are very long and it doesn't give me an option to choose like short, petite, tall. All of the pieces are just tall. I'm between 5'3", five, 5'5". Five, five. So for us shorter girls, you're gonna have to get this hem because it drags on the floor. So just keep that in mind um, when you do buy bottoms for Fashion Nova. But let me go ahead and put this stuff away y'all because I want to clean out my closet. I have not cleaned out my closet and organized what's in there since I moved in. I just want to go ahead and clear some things out since I have some new things to put in because a lot of that stuff in there y'all is just old like I need to let it go. I condensed my closet a lot when I moved into my old apartment. I condensed it again when I moved from there to here but I need to condense it one more time because I have just a lot of stuff in there that is dated it's not giving and I need to just take it out and stop holding on to it. So I can just go ahead and take all the stuff to Goodwill and be done with it and start a fresh new wardrobe because I think it's time for me to update my wardrobe a lot, update my look a lot because your girl be dated. My clothes are starting to look a little ashy and worn. So I need to just let some stuff go. So yeah, here's my closet. Here's what I'm working with. <laughs> about to start getting some work done i want to go ahead and update my amazon y'all i'm sitting here looking at my hair because i was looking in the camera and i was like is that dandruff y'all that's my gray hairs all that gray stuff right here those are my gray hairs your girl is getting your girl's getting old wise and old but anyway i'm sitting here <laughs> i'm sitting here because i want to start updating get some work done and update my amazon storefront shop because i haven't done that in a long time like everything on there is outdated as far as like my banner and stuff like that so i want to start updating it and adding all of the stuff that i recommend and will purchase again to my amazon storefront that is one of my income sources so i need to show her a little bit of love because i have not been showing her some love but y'all or whoever has been still clicking on the link so i appreciate y'all for that because like i said i do still get some income from that every month so i do need to update her today so that's what i'm gonna sit here and do by the way this video is sponsored by squarespace y'all know i love me some squarespace i'm so grateful to have partnered with them for my website needs my website is officially live so definitely check it out in the description box below i use squarespace's all-in-one website building platform they gave me the tools that i needed to build out my website and launch my own personal passion Project. The ease of use of the platform is top tier, adding my media files, graphics, linking my YouTube videos was such a simple process. My website is a hub for all things Hannah Olivia. I definitely took advantage of a lot of the features and tools that Squarespace had to offer. They have a plethora of templates to choose from so you can add your own unique style and create a beautiful website. They also have tools that allowed me to create a calendar so that you guys can schedule your one-on-one live chat sessions. By the way, thank you all so 
much to all of you that have booked your one-on-one -on -one sessions via my website already. Squarespace makes it easy to sell anything from products to content all in one place, all in your terms, whether they're physical, digital, or service-based products. So check out squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Hannah Olivia for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. All right, y'all, I'm about to show y'all how I make my party meatballs. I think I've showed y'all this recipe before, but I'm gonna show y'all again because I haven't made them in a second. I always get so many compliments on my party meatballs. So this is a recipe that y'all need to add to your arsenal. So I just put in my two eggs. This is about two pounds of ground beef. I'm adding about one fourth to half a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm making the meatballs because my sister asked me if I can make some so they can take it over to a friend's house for dinner. So that's what I'm doing. I have about eight to 10 crushed Ritz crackers, some Parmesan. Well, this is a mix of cheeses, but normally I do Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna add about mm, maybe one fourth cup of cheese i'm gonna do a few dabs of worcestershire sauce about one fourth cup of minced onion i'm gonna go on with my seasonings we're doing black pepper onion powder garlic powder some saison i didn't have any fresh parsley so i'm just using dry parsley just to add some color so i'm just gonna put some dry parsley and then a splash of milk I'm gonna start mixing this together. And if I feel like it needs more milk or more breadcrumb, I'll add it accordingly. When you're mixing your meat together for both meatballs and meatloaf, you don't wanna over mix because then the meat will get tougher. It's not as like tender and juicy. So you just wanna slowly knead everything together. You're gonna kinda feel based on the texture if you need more milk, more breadcrumb, more egg as you go. Good morning, y'all. I'm just getting some laundry done before I head out of the house this morning. doing wand curls in this hair it is giving it looks so cute it looks like exactly what I was going for so I'm so happy I feel like my hair is finally coming together and it's so soft and like full so I'm so happy that it turned out how I wanted it to so I'm gonna try and leave these curls in my hair for a few days I'm gonna flexi rod it tonight and see how well it holds up but anyway y'all I went ahead and put my makeup on and did my hair because I just wanted to get myself together and I feel like I work better when I'm clean and fresh and have my hair and makeup done. I'm more productive for some reason and I want to finish editing this video today so I can hopefully get it up for y'all tomorrow. So I need to put my productive hat on but right now I'm about to do a quick Bible study, um, edit the video and then I want to take a picture so I can get the thumbnail done for the video as well. I've been reading out of a few scriptures for the past few weeks. I told y'all that, you know, I was going through some things and all that and y'all, the word 
has been the only thing that has been truly keeping me and I low-key feel like and y'all were saying this in like some of my past videos I low-key feel like God broke me down this low so that I could get back into the word because when I was really reflecting on it I haven't been consistently in the word for a very 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 long time like I've always you know, had my Bible, went to church here and there, but collectively over the past 10 years, I have not been in the Bible like I used to be and how I should be. And I feel like God really broke me down to get me to get back into his word. I had that's a time where I would read the Bible consistently, but I didn't stick to it. I would pick the Bible up here and there and read it for a few months and then put it back down. And you know what I mean? But consistently reading the Bible on a daily basis, semi-daily basis, I haven't done that in a very long time. So like I said, I don't know if that is the reason why I've been going through all this stuff so that God could get my attention, but he has my attention, okay? And I have been back in the word and it feels really good. I feel a change in my heart, a change in my mind, the way that I think, the way that I approach different situations. So I'm so, so thankful just for his word and him keeping me. And my goal is to stay in the word this time around so I don't have to get broken back down so low. But the scriptures I've been really reading consistently for the past few weeks have been Psalms 139, Psalms 3, and Jeremiah 29. Like those are the, <laughs> those are, let me show y'all. Those are the three scriptures I have bookmarked in my Bible right now. And I kind of switch between the three of them just to, cause sometimes you just want to hear something that feeds you. And I'm, I'm still in that mode where I, I need to hear things that are feeding me that are giving me encouragement but my goal is to be able to just read the bible in its entirety and you know what i'm saying really hear what he has to say so yeah i just wanted to give y'all like a quick update on my i guess my spiritual journey like i'm really like i said i'm really grateful and these days i'm feeling really positive and optimistic and i'm looking forward to what's to come All right, I'm about to put my thumbnail together and I wanted to show you guys how I do my thumbnail. I use Canva for my thumbnails and when I do my like intro outros. So I just wanted to walk you guys through how I put together my thumbnail real quick. So this is the template that I'm working from, from Canva. You can just search YouTube vlog thumbnails and you can choose whatever template you like. So you can plug in your pictures how you want to. So I'm gonna upload the pictures that I've already taken. I'm gonna duplicate this page. I'm not going to use the grid because I only have three pictures to import. So this four picture grid, I don't need this time around. Delete it, delete the entire grid. And then I'm going to pull over the pictures that I'm using for this thumbnail. I'm going to move this farmer's market photo to the left because I like how it kind of comes out from the side. So I'm going to move that over to the left, make it bigger. The picture of the food is going to go on the other side just so the thumbnail can have a little bit of balance. So that's how it looks so far. And then if you want to add more cohesiveness, you can add a square and put a tint and change the transparency. And just spread that across your photo if you want to add like a little bit more cohesiveness to the way, almost like a filter, if you want to add more cohesiveness to the way that your picture looks. I only do that if the colors of the pictures are way off and I need to pull the colors together. But this looks pretty balanced to me. Like there's yellow in my face, yellow in the sign, yellow in the food. So I'm okay with this. The daily vlog is going to say the same. And then I'm just going to change the details for this vlog. And that's it. Thumbnail is done. So I'm going to upload this and finish editing my video. And y'all will see this thumbnail on this video. So... I just wanted to show you guys how I do that real quick. 
I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really want to start working on this video. So I'm going to cut this vlog a little short today. I appreciate y'all watching and rocking with me. I love y'all so much. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like the video, and I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.